previously on Horizon Forbidden West. What's going on here? Sounds like there's a problem. My people used to be friendlier, but hunger robs many of their kindness. Seems like there's a lot around here in short supply. Is there anything that can help? We need food. So much so that we've sent hunting parties to the old growth, a forest in the north. A machine slaughtered the last hunting party we sent out. A Klostrider. But to hear the lone survivor tell it, more deadly than any we've seen before. One more thing. Every Utaru wears a small patch of seeds, given at birth, planted at death. It would mean a great deal to the hunter's families if you could recover them. He died where the Klostrider caught him. At least I can return his seed pouch. I need to put a stop to that machine. Klostrider's tracks end here. And no sign of the last hunter either. But I bet I know why those machines are watching that crack in the cliff. I wasn't expecting a rescue. Thank you, Outlander. I'm after the Clawstrider. Where did it go? It's done. We did it! Aloy, Lau has come back to us thanks to you. Here, the seed pouches. It's been an honor, Aloy. May the land be kind to you. What is up, Rocket Nation? Welcome back for episode number 24 of Horizon Forbidden West. And we are back in Plainsong again today for the final side quest that we have in this little hamlet, this little village here um, atop the dish. I do believe we got to go all the way up for this next one. Uh, I think we had seen it up by uh, the herbalist, I believe is the name of the person. But um, it's it's Dane. It's Dane is the guy's actual name, not just herbalist. They don't call people by their professions here. Like, I'm just, wait, they do call me Huntress. Okay, doesn't matter. We're going to go ahead and make our way up. Um, that, last, that last episode was quite eye-opening. Uh, a very... A very interesting quest as we are now uh, essentially introduced to Apex machines, which to me seem to be like they are essentially created by Hephaestus, the, the means of destroying us. Awesome. But uh, today and we're going to see what this next quest is all about. I believe we got to go all the way up. Um, all the way up. Yeah, right here. Yeah, right there. Please. Can we speak? Absolutely, we can speak. Hello, you're so very kind. You're you're very polite. Let's have a conversation now. Please. Jesus. The chorus won't meet with me. I don't know what else to do. <laughs> How about you just start by telling me what's wrong? I'm from Riverham, to the north. A few days back, I woke to the screams of my neighbors as Tanakh's rebels attacked. They were just scouts, but we barely drove them off. If a full raiding party comes next, we're not fighters. We're done for. I thought the chorus would help us. I thought we all sprouted from the same earth, but it seems an outlander is the only one who even listened to me. Really? Would it be too much to hope that you'd stand with us in this fight? Oh, I can definitely do that. Um, wow, you know, how many times have we already heard this now that the chorus just refuses to hear the, the pleas of its own people. The chorus are supposed to speak for all Utaru, and normally I wouldn't question them, but they see outlying settlements like Riverham as lost lands, no longer under Plain Song's protection. They won't even meet with me to discuss it. Wow. I'm starting to really dislike the chorus. Um, Tanakh the rebels. Regala's rebels. Do you know why they're attacking you? You're asking why the sun sets at night. They are Tanakhs. They live to fight. 
as usual among themselves. But this time my village is caught in the middle. The rebels want to strip it of supplies to feed their campaign against the Western clans. They're not attacking here. Can't you retreat to Plainsong? An outlander might find it difficult to understand. All Utaru carry seeds that are planted when we pass. My people have planted many seeds in River Hymn's Grove, a gift from the Buried Years, which I believe outlanders call the Red Raids. We'll never leave. We sacrifice too much. I feel like, oh my goodness. You know, it's just like, they all have the same problem. Uh, refusing to change. Uh, you're about to get destroyed. You might want to pick up and move in order to save yourselves. They're all so wrapped up in this uh, this idea of a tree can't um, can't uproot itself. How about you try and help yourselves every once in a while? Um, maybe I can help though. I mean, what, what else can we do? If I find myself up north, I'll check in on your people. I ask nothing more. When you reach the village, look for Q. He's heading up our defenses. Q. The roots that bind the Utaru village of Ritherhim, Riverhim uh, has been under constant attack by Tanakh the Raiders. Without more support, they won't hold out for much longer. Uh, wow, we get a lot of XP. We get two skill points, so that's a bonus. You had me at skill points. Let's go! So, where is this actually on the map? Um, oh, yeah, jeez, this is way, 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 way up north. Um, we do have a shelter on the way that we haven't discovered. Might as well go and catch that and then, uh, we'll make our way up and visit the people of Riverhim. Wow, it's, it seems like it's really far away, but I bet like 500 foot deals is not as far as it seems. Um, they did a great job with this game in scale. Like 500 foot deals seems when you're looking at it, seems so, so far away. But when you actually travel it, it's not as far as you think it is. Let's easy. glide. Also, I do. I am using a glider, so there is that. I'm basically wingsuiting around, so. What else do I expect? All right. Let's step on it here and get up there, see if we can't help these people of River, River Him. What are these little deals? Almost like little lookout towers. Um, let's try and skip by the machines for right now. I don't think we need to be slowed down by every machine in the entire world, which tends to, oh, these that machine will shrug off acid. are claw striders. And I believe we need a couple, how many, you know what? You know what? The best thing to do here is to look in your inventory, uh, see how many of the claw strider tails we have. We got four of them right now the claw strider razor tails we could always use more i mean more's better isn't it i believe um let's slide way over here get down and let's see if we can't lure one away from the crowd yeah get over here butthole it would be nice if we could just pop the tails off them in one shot I think we got that tail that time. Oh, it knows where we're at. I'm pretty sure this one knows exactly where we are now. That's not good. Um, things are happening. Oh, that was right in the face. Take that. Hold your tail still, would you, for two seconds? Got it. Is it off? It is not off yet. Oh, there, now it's off. All right, so we got uh, two tails down, I do believe. They've moved off. I'll just take your tails. If you want to just leave those tails behind, I can just take these and be on my way. Um, Wow, we got five tails for that one that we just picked up. Okay, all right, so there's 11 tails. I'm okay, we're good. Thank you. <laughs> Maybe they're like iguanas and it'll just grow back i don't know i'm not sure on the physiology wow look at this this is just such a beautiful game absolutely gorgeous we've got more machines coming up here um what are these 
Oh, those are just some chargers. We don't need anything from chargers as of right now. Matter of fact, we probably have an overabundance of things from chargers, to be honest. So this shelter seems to be right up here on the tree line, maybe up on a, on a little ridge. Yeah. Stay in rest and push on. Exactly. I'll take that. So there it is, brand new uh, little spot here. Let's go ahead and get a quick save in. Um, is there anything else that we can do upgrades on? I don't think that there are any weapons yet that can be, yeah, no, we need Sunwing for that one. Snap Maw for that one. Bellow back for that. Wide Maw Primary Nerve. Oh, should have went for a run and seen if we could have gotten that today. Um, the Strong Arm Hunter Bow. I don't think we need to upgrade this one. We're probably going to end up selling that one because we have a better um, we have a better Hunter Bow now. What is this one's stats? This one is... Oh, yeah, this one's way worse than what we're using. Um, we're good. Uh, what about outfit upgrades? Can we upgrade this current outfit anymore? No, we need Spike Snout Sack webbing deal things. Um, all right. Oh, we've done all we can do here. Push forward. So it looks like we're heading up this way. Is there anything else around here? No. Oh, there is something up above us. I don't know what that was, but we're about to go get it. What? Oh, right there. All right. So there's something there. Oh, what is this? A valuables box? Was that it? Yeah, that was it. All right. I'm wondering where we're going to see the Pecaries and the, um, uh, and the other animals that we need for upgrading our satchels. We haven't seen a lot of those... Uh-oh. Sounds like someone's in trouble. Uh-oh. Don't let it get to you. I hear somebody back here. Let's get these ones in back. Don't let them surround you. I know, right? Where's the other one? I think you got the truck. Push back! Do not oh, let them through! That was so cool. Protect Riverhead! Over there! You see? Critical strike! Oh, that is brutal! Can we get him? Is there more yet? Oh, right here. There's another one over here, I think. Oh, I think I got hit by somebody else. Wasn't even the person I was fighting. She's good. Don't let them surround. Nice. No mercy. Remember what you fight for. Shoot him in the crotch. Critical strike. Jesus. Would the locals stop setting me on fire? That would be a good start. Uh, no. Nope. Uh, How's that feel? Uh, <laughs> the locals. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, laugh about it. You just set me on fire Save four those times. smiles for your families. The Tanakh understand only strength and ours was a poor display at best. They will be back. You, 
the one who actually won this fight for us. A word. I want everyone fortifying the pass. All right, we'll talk to him in a second. Fire We're gonna go around. Warrior seem. We'll talk to him in a second. Um, let's get all the loot. Man, I can't tell you how many times the locals uh, set me on fire there. I don't think the Tanakh were any of the ones that had the uh, fire arrows. It was all the people of River Riverham. I think that's going to be just about it. Oh, there's some stuff up here, too. Can I climb here? Nope. Green is early spring. There are children playing with sticks. It's all I can do to keep them alive. It'll only get harder. So far, the rebels have sent mere scouts, but it won't be long till they return for an all-out assault. And if they bring machines with them, we'll need a lot more than eager hearts to win. Look you seem place. to know a lot about Tanakh's tactics. Back when the Tanakh clans pushed back the Karja raiders, I joined the fight. The Tanakh taught you how to fight? More than that. They taught me how to work with metal. I'm probably the only Utoro who can. Never thought I'd be using what I learned then to fight against them now. This place looks amazing. I'm absolutely in love with this spot. I want to move to River, River him forever. Never leave. I'm taking it. This must be Q here. We may speak freely here. Yeah, follow Q. Okay, so I didn't even see that. Yep, so this is Q. Um, is there anything else around here? It's like we might have a stash here at some point. Um, talk to Q. So, what's the plan? The plan was making new weapons for my so-called fighters. I sent my best climber, Voss, up the drum route to get the materials we need. Wide maws leave metal pods we use for crafting at its summit. <gasps> but the derangement has made them as dangerous as the climb to reach them. Voss has yet to return. We have defenses to set up, and we are running out of time. If the savior of Meridian is willing to lend us her strength a little longer, I believe you can get us what we need. You know who I am. Yep. Red hair, bow, fights better than 10 warriors put together. You're well known, and so is your little disagreement with the chorus. I understand what this place means to your people, but you're outnumbered and under-equipped. You can leave. Head to safety. Have you ever seen a flower so small and white? When it falls, it looks like snow in spring. My daughter called them Winter Song. She carried their seeds to the day she drew her last breath. Now those seeds grow in the grove at the heart of River Hem, planted by my own hands as do the ones of every brother and sister taken from us during the Red Raids. We, I, will not abandon them. Um, your daughter's seeds. I'm sorry about your daughter. The Raids took her from me. I found my peace in every carja that fell beneath my spear. Now all I have left of her is planted in the grove here. No Tanakh will force me out. Do all Utaru carry seeds with them? We are given our pouches soon after we're born. When we die, the seeds are buried. A reminder that our deaths bring new life. It is how we remain one with the rhythm of the world. You know, after hearing him talk about his daughter now, um, I get it. Yeah. You know what? No Utaru. Th those words, no Utaru, or wait, no Tanakh will... will force me to leave I, that's 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 yeah that's big right there um the drum root what is that what makes the path up to the drum root so dangerous it's a cave of sunken passages and gaping caverns that only the very skilled can navigate it serves as a safe haven for my people but machines have patrolled its deepest passageways ever since the derangement even so river hem and the grove live off its waters we are connected to it as much as we are to the seeds growing behind you. This guy has some pretty gnarly uh, scars all over his face, too. Like, he's been in a few fights, a few scraps. Um, Q. What exactly do you do around here? 
I am the metal weaver of River Hem. But all you really need to know about me is that I plan to keep my people alive. Thanks to you, we might actually have a chance at that. He's got, he's like their leader, pretty much. More than just a metal worker. Um, metal pods. Tell me more about these metal pods. They are tricky to collect. The wide moss sowed them. One must be quick enough to gather them before the soil and water take them. But their metal is among the sturdiest I've ever weaved. Without them, our chances of survival are slim. Okay. So, this is beautiful because we need to take down some wide maws anyways. I believe we need some wide maw tusks. Um, all right, what do you need? Oh, if there's no convincing you to leave, I guess we're making some weapons. You have my thanks. There's no time to waste. Follow me. Here we go. This way. Look at how gorgeous this place is. With those is. paws and a whole lot of luck, we just might get out of this alive. Let's hope these sprouts can hold their ground against a squad of machines. I can only cover so much ground and my joints aren't what they used to be. Look to me like they chose to stay here as much as you did. It'll be the fight of their lives, that's for sure. Almost there. This is the best we can do to hide those who cannot fight. But if we fall, the Tanakh will find them sooner than later. We're here. This is it. Do you have any questions? Um, no, I'm good. I think that's everything, right? Yeah. I'm ready. Good luck. Come see me at the forge when you're done. Okay, so now we're climbing? <laughs> until... Oh, hey! We're climbing until we find wide maws, apparently. That is, uh, that's the, that's the plan. Guess I better start finding my way up to the top. Just, they put you in some truly epic scenery to do these quests. That is for darn sure. Absolutely love this. Love this game. All right, I do want to keep a lookout uh, if there is any lootables or anything. I need to find a way up there. We're going up that way. Well, this seems safe. Uh, I'm going to die is what I'm saying. Inevitably, gravity is going to take me out. Oh. Get over here. Dive roll. So you don't get crushed by it. Oh, wow. Nice. Nice little haul. Ooh, how do we get up there? Oh, there's a ladder there. Um... There's a whole spot down over here as well. We'll have to check the water, see if there's anything in the water. <laughs> it's, it's like we're checking the water a little earlier than first anticipated. Okay, way up there. All right, you know what? Let's check the water. Oh, there's a little cave here. I don't want to die. Uh-oh. <laughs> don't die? Okay. What is this? It's a whole other part of the cave. Oh. I'm guessing that's Faust. These wounds were made by machines. I should take a seat pouch to Q. It seems oh. to mean a lot to the Ataro. So this is the person Not that the went up. That's the person that went up to go in and collect the uh, these metal pods to begin Powers. with. Same ones that killed Vos, probably. Um. Beautiful. Get him out of here. 
Oh, these are Apex, aren't they? Got that one. Oh, that was a little... Yeah, we... We got got there. I need you to lift up. That was right in the chesticles. The other one must have just died from its injuries, I guess. No, nope. Jesus. What? that well, let's find a way up these caves wow yeah i think those were apex ones right there the black and gold armor doesn't show you what they are after the fact all right i think that's it yeah oh little chest here i love how much loot there is all the way through oh there is an area up top. Oh, we can climb here. What? Can we wall run? <laughs> is that a thing? I don't think it is, but now that I'm thinking about it, I feel like it should be. We do got a chest down here. <laughs> Why? How? How not eager I was to jump until I seen that there was a, something to loot down here, and then I just went. <laughs> went from oh, oh, okay, there's a box down there. Gotta go. Oh, what is this? I think there's one of those. Uh, that's a sliver, a green shine Perfect. sliver. Keep this green shine for later. There's one of those metal flowers on the other side as well. You know what? Let's tag it just in case. All right, now we're up top. All right, so this is the ladder right here that we had seen. Um, let's check over here for... I'm going to say, I think I already see something up top. Oh, there is something over there as well. Um, can we jump to this? Yep. Yeah, okay. We can make our way around the other side now. Love the music in here too. I think that's the way we're going. Whoa. Uh, going up. Oh, going to be a lot of climbing happening now. This is already... A very, very cool quest, in my opinion. I'm loving this climb, essentially, up to go hunt some white, uh, some wide maws down. I love the idea of this. There's another spot to jump over to. Is there anything else? If I time it right, I might be able to jump and use my pole caster to get to the other side. Oh, I know. That little bit at the end there, I threw that in myself dead end down here so it looks like we're going to be going back and climbing oh nice a whole bunch of stuff i did see some climbing spots over here so it looks like we're climbing Ooh, that was close i almost ran off the edge oh wow look at this so yeah made it Time to find those wide moss. I'm not gonna lie, when I seen this hole, 
from down inside of it, I didn't think we would actually physically come up to this hole. I thought we would just find another way up here. Um, <laughs> that was cool. Okay. We got some. Oh, there's a wide maw. Those pods they're ejecting. They must be the ones Q needs. It looks like oh, I yeah. can just pick them up once they fall to the ground. If I'm quiet enough, I can get them without the machines ever knowing I'm here. These are just regular burrowers. Do I have any fire ammo on me? Oh, how did that miss? We'll just put it down so it doesn't alert everything. All right, so this wide maw is right here. I want to fight this wide maw. I don't want to just sneak around and, and collect its... Oh, I think it just heard me move. So let's try and take out these burrowers first and give ourselves an opening to take out the, uh, the wide maw. I would love for this thing to stop, stand up, and look around. Ah, whatever. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. So we got the container. We also got the burrower sound shell too. So there that one is. There's still another one yet. Uh, and by another one, I mean another burrower right here. So now it should stand up and look this way. And now it's dead. It's done. Now we just have the big fella. All right. Uh, now we got to make sure that we have enough of all the ammos. Let's freaking do this. Look at how it just sort of shoots them out all over the place. And then what? They get absorbed by the water and the ground. You know what? Let's try and do a sneak attack on this big fella. Try and put it down right away with one of these. Oh, does it see me? It sees me. Oh, I got it. It should. All right. We got to aim for its tusks. There's one. Oh, that was 70 damage. One more hit. Oh, no. We were so close to getting them both. No. Oh, no. Don't go swimming. It's not time for a swim. What? I don't think I hit that one. I need you to get up out of the water, bruh. Yeah, right over here. There we go. Okay, we got hit a little bit there, but no big deal. Um, where's its big mouth at? I'm going to say, we probably only need one or two hits here. Shoot it right in the throat hole. Is it done? Oh, nice. All right. Oh, wow, that went really well. Um, We got hit, what, one time? That's about it. Boy, when they start sucking you in, that little vacuum maneuver, that is terrifying. Uh, <laughs> all you can do is dive roll. There we go. We got two of the wide Montas. Actually, three wide Montas. Man, that went really well. All right. So that means now we can do our final upgrade on our bow, I do believe. And I think our... Didn't we need the same thing for our outfit as well? Why did she just swim in like a foot of water? Oh, that's just a rock. Is there anything else up here? Oh, we got another one right there. Oh, there's another burrower too. 
All right, so we'll take out the burrower again. We'll take that out first. The machine's jaws look like they could swallow me whole. Oh, I think it heard that. Boy, I didn't realize how loud Aloy is. <laughs> Oh no, that was a miss. Okay, we still got it. Oh, this one. Is that electricity for this one or is that fire? What? Oh. Wow. Stand up, Aloy. We should Much heal. Better. What the heck, dude? <laughs> it sucked me right through the air. Did that hit it? It did not. There we go. There we go. All right. See if we can get some shots. Get some more tusks. Oh, come on. What is that? Literally pointing right directly at it. All right. We got them both. Uh, yeah, make some more of these. Where did it go? Need to see your other side there, bud. There we go. Got it. What? Oh. Jesus. You know what? We'll just go ham on this thing's back. I think these are weak. Yeah, these are weak spots too. Oh, nice. Easy. Easy. I guess that's that. I should check the wide moss for pods. There we go. That should do it. Better get back to Q with these. Got a shock defense there as well. All right. So back to Q then. Let's make sure we get our tusks. <laughs> We got three right there and four. For, oh, we got all kinds of tusks for days. I don't see anything else around here. Oh, what is that? Oh, that was the other burrower. Yeah. So let's go grab this stuff. We did get the sound shell from this one. See, I just love the idea of intentionally having to break off the parts so that they don't snap in that like being a key upgrade source. I just love that idea. Um, oh, wow. Can we just jump off of this? I mean, obviously we can. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I'm coming, Q. Wow, how awesome is this? Are you kidding me? He would be right here, right? Yeah, this is the forge. Yeah, right there he is. <laughs> How freaking awesome was that? Hey, what's up? How you doing? Just act like nothing happened. No, I didn't just fly in on a blue light. I got what you needed. Not a moment too soon. Did you find Voss? I brought his seed pouch back. I pray it'll be the last I bury. But now I need to get the weapons ready. Let's hope it'll be enough. It'll have to be. Uh-oh. her face right there um let's start out i guess with the sharp shot bow give me something to hit where are they at I've got your back. oh that was a big hit i don't have stamina for that Need 
Oh, that that arrow, that big shot is freaking awesome. Um, all right, we're just gonna we're gonna move in a little bit here. You are not forever him. Ooh, where the heck did this? Forever him. That was. Did you just shoot me? Utaru, forever him. Hold the line! Wow, there's Death a lot of them out here. For you. She's hurt! Ah. Oh. Take ah. my shot! Oh, I love that he's out here with me fighting. Ooh. Whoa, no way. Oh, you know what? I step back. Got it. That should do some big time damage right there. Oh no, that's a bristle back. Let's try and get this tail here real quick. All right, we got the tail. Concentrate your fire. Uh, we need this. Don't let we need more of them too. Oh, the he's gonna explode. That's gonna be super awesome. Oh, that's gonna be a double explosion right there. Oh, we're hurt. Heal up. Multiple. You hit her. Got to level up. Give them cover. Where someone else is shooting me from the side over here. I'm still in this fight. Oh, oh no! Dead. Oh, there's one right there. Okay, just those are just missing for no reason. Is that it? We did it! Guess these young ones knew how to aim after all. Even so, we owe you this victory, Huntress. It wasn't my strategy or craft that got us here, Q. I just brought in some parts. Even so, I want you to have this. It Ooh. did good by my people. It'll do good by you. I'll take good care of it. Be safe out there. Oh, let it be awesome. What did we get? Q's sharp shot bow. Oh, no way. Um, Right there. 45 impact, 56 tear damage. How does that compare to ours? Ours is better. <laughs> this has two more tear damage. But yeah, ours is ours is way better. Um, <laughs> thanks, I guess, Q. I appreciate you. Um, I know, really, I will keep it forever and always because I'm a hoarder. But uh, I appreciate you. Thank you, Q. <laughs> that was freaking a cool quest right there. Oh, we got some stuff up here, too. Yoink. Some more of that volatile sludge. Mm, I can refill my patch with these later. Stay safe, Outlander. Got two skill points as well. And we also got a bunch of... I should have tried to get some of the bristleback tusks off of these. I didn't even think about that. All kinds of enemies we took down out here. Rebel soldier. Another rebel soldier. Right there. That was the uh, claw strider tail. We got seven of them from that. Good Lord. I think there's only one or two more of the enemies. That's it. Isn't there one down here somewhere? Maybe they fell in the river, swept away. It was up here. 
Actually, two more. One here, and then one to the right, and then that is it. Nice. Um, well, I feel like we got to go back inside now because... Uh, oh, there's another chest here. I want to see... Oh, we can actually talk to somebody in here, too. Watch your step, visitor. Oh, two people we can talk to. All right, I guess we'll start here. Oh, this is Q. What up, Q? I like this guy a lot, actually. The first bloom of the winter song. Oh. I can feel the heaviness of my ears fade away just by looking at them. They're beautiful. It was good to see the young ones fight for this place. I'll be damned if those sprouts didn't hold their own. Strong as the roots of a proud tree. Just don't tell them I said that. Your secret's safe. <laughs> now, I better make sure our newly victorious warriors don't injure themselves while celebrating. So, this bloom was that of his daughter's. That's uh, his daughter's seed that he planted. And then, there's another one right here. Who is this? Oh, that's Nell! Yeah, Nell! What up, Nell? Aloy. I can't believe it. I came back ready for a fight and instead found that you had already ended one. I wasn't alone. Your people are lucky to have Q leading them. Stubborn as weeds, that one. I'm just glad we're all back in Riverhim. For good, this time. May the land always bloom in your steps, Aloy. I really enjoy those moments that you get to share with uh, people. I, I just, I really enjoy that. Um, is there anything in here for us to loot? Oh, there is something right there. Small supply cache. I'm not too worried about that. Another small supply cache, but it looks like there's a couple of people over here that we might be able to chit chat with too. Oh, we got a, oh, somewhere to buy some stuff from. I like that. If you that. want to improve you your next hunt, let's trade. All right. Trading. Let's do, okay. All you got is a fast travel pack. Okay. Do have a resource. Oh, nice. You can get, buy plow horn, horns from these. Oh, we need green shine sliver is what it costs for one of these. Oh, I'm very tempted to pick this up. Um, we need one of these to learn how to um to override the land gods. One of the plow horns. You know what? Let's pick one of these up. It is a green shine silver though. Or sliver. I <laughs> did it again. Oh, you know what? We know where it's at if we ever want to come back. We know where it's at. Wow, we are like full on everything. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, what do we have to sell here? Let's get our sell on. 525 shards right there. Up to 4,476 shards. And oh, there's a box to open. Put that in my pocket. Can we talk to Q still or no? Her tree will now grow safe and strong. Thank you. You're welcome. I also, I'm sorry for standing on your workbench. Um, <laughs> let's come over here to this workbench. We have an upgrade to do. Uh, where is it? There's our slicing hunter bow. Oh, we need the wide maw primary nerve. And we did not get one to drop. Oh, how heartbreaking is that? I thought we needed the tusk. Oh, that is absolutely heartbreaking. I hate this game. <laughs> no. So we don't have any upgrades that we can do. Is the Was the outfit one? Nope, that was, yeah, Spike Snout. Hmm, well, that's horrible. Um, <laughs> boo. Hunter, hunter, let's trade. All right, uh, let's get out of town here because every time I try to do an outro, in town, uh, I have to deal with everybody talking with me at the same time and yelling at me. And I'm tired of people yelling at me. But uh, <laughs> that is where we're going to end this episode. Rocket Nation, thank you guys so much for joining me for yet another awesome episode of Horizon Forbidden West. I appreciate all of you guys for joining me. As always, if you enjoyed the episode, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. Share it on your favorite social media platform if you want others to enjoy it as well. And if you would like to be notified when the next episode goes live, all you got to do is be subscribed to the channel, click the little bell notification icon deal thing, and YouTube shall take care of the rest. 
Thank you all so much. And as always, remember, life is short. Pause, save, and I will see you in the next episode.